Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be understanding what do we mean by the terms throwing an exception and catching an exception. And to do so, we need to understand the entire process of exception handling. Okay, so what is the process of exception handling and what happens when an exception actually occurs? So the first step is that you are executing a program and an error occurs. And whenever any kind of error occurs, the Python interpreter creates an exception object for it. Okay, so what is an ex exception object? This object contains information about the error. What is the type of error, whether it is a syntax error, logical error, runtime error and in which file the error has occurred at what position in the file at which line number the error has occurred and so on so this is what is known as the exception object that is created by the python interpreter whenever an error occurs now when this exception object is created the python interpreter hands this uh, exception object to the runtime system now after creating this object the Python interpreter gives the entire object to the runtime system which is basically the entire software and hardware that is helping you to execute the program the, to perform the functions that you are performing via the uh, program that you have written okay so once the exception object is handed over to the runtime system this process or this step is known as the throwing of an exception so the python interpreter has thrown out an exception object and that exception object has been taken by the runtime system now what will be the runtime system doing the runtime system will be searching for an appropriate code that will handle this exception and this code is known as the exception handler or the exception handling code okay and how this search will happen so this search happens hierarchically so hierarchically means the block the code block the function in which the exception has been raised is searched first okay so if the exception handler code is found in that function itself then that exception handler is executed otherwise if the exception handler is not present in the immediate function or immediate block in which the exception was raised the next block the next outer block is searched so what will be the outer block from where the function call was done for the function in which the exception has been raised so hierarchically the python interpreter the runtime system rather the runtime system searches for the exception handler that matches the current exception object that has been raised or that has been thrown all right and after a particular exception handler code is found the appropriate uh, exception handler is executed and there, there the exception is said to be handled or the exception is set to be caught but if no exception handler is found the program just terminates abruptly without uh, without uh, uh, you know executing any further statements so we have learned what is throwing of an exception now let's understand what is catching of an exception so an exception is said to be caught when the appropriate exception handler code is found for it and that code is executed okay so when the runtime system searches for an exception handler whenever the exception handler is found appropriate to the exception that has been thrown that particular code is executed and this execution of the exception handler code is known as catching of an exception okay now how is the exception handled this is done through the try accept block that we will be studying in the very next video so stay tuned to understand what is the try accept block and what are the different variations of the try accept block so that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam